Welcome back, everybody. We are so excited to catch a show here at Johnson Hall, and we encourage you to come early and experience all that Gardner has to offer. This downtown is so charming, whether you're coming early to enjoy some of the local shops and boutiques, grabbing a bite at the Blind Pink Tavern, or exploring some of the art studios, we're gonna take you now to a gallery and meet artist Alan Claude to say hello to him. He is fantastic. So talented. Let's do it. And welcome to the gallery. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you. Andrew, you? good to see you. It's beautiful in here. How is Johnson Hall? Oh, spectacular. Isn't that beautiful? Unbelievable. And this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. So this is your home. Yes, this is where it all happens. Gardner is very charming because it's like a little city neighborhood. It's got everything you need. Brew pub, you got restaurants, you got coffee shops, you got a theater, Johnson Hall, and I love the brick buildings. Always wanted to have a permanent place for my art. And this is my gallery. I'm always attracted to color and dimension and light, but also it's about drawing a feeling. When I see people connect with the art, it just brings happiness to them and, uh, and it makes me feel good. When I was a little kid in France, uh, I lived in France, my mom was French and we were dirt poor, but I would do drawings for her and make her happy. And so that's why it's an imprint in my own self that I want to draw to make people happy. So basically creating art for me is, is my magic power. <laughs> these tea towels are very popular. We just got them in this year. Uh, coasters, these are really nice Fun. gifts. They, they're small, but meaningful. You know, people yeah. like small little things to take. The calendar yeah. drives uh, a lot of my art. Every year I come up with 12 images. And it's nice to see the year in color. You know, it's not just about appointments and things to do, but it's more about feeling, you know. I love abstract art. I love just energy and color. And, and I think about the problem when you want to have something on your wall, it's a difficult decision to figure out what you want to say, but you want to say something that's positive. You want to feel good because you're going to see that every day. And in life, in the news, there's always some chaos and controversy. It's you just want to feel good in your own home and or, or office. And that's what I try to do is just create good feelings about summer or just the main experience. When I first started, I said, do I want to go traditional with oils or do I try to do something that's digital? But I didn't want to make it look computerized. Uh -huh. I wanted it to look natural and organic. So I draw with my hands, freehand, so it's loose, it's imperfect. And the imperfection makes it more appealing, you know, so. I want those dinghies, like oh, those yeah. colors. I mean, why can't we have that in Casco Bay, for has, real? See, it's kind of nurturing. There's a child there and, a, you know, there's a love connection there. See, it feels good. So that's the that. idea. And I, it's, now, this is my son flying a kite Portland headlight. It's just oh. the idea of like the joy of a child, you know, the excitement of flying a kite when you're a kid, you know. Can I have your positivity and color in my life every <laughs> single day? Can you just, just get a calendar. a calendar. Just buy a calendar. <laughs> Good sale. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Well, I hope you come down to Gardner. It's a great little staycation. The gallery's open here. Check online for the hours in the wintertime, but I hope to see you here in Gardner, Maine. Bye.